Hello golfers, welcome to some of the uh, highlights and lowlights of my Sunday morning round. Today we're revisiting uh, Pike's Alley Cat, uh, one of the new versions he's put out. Uh, it's great that some of these guys uh, can go back to some of these courses and change things around, uh, different tee locations, different pin locations. Uh, they can adjust uh, the hardness of the fairways and greens and the putting speeds and stuff like that uh, to offer multiple experiences on one venue makes for uh, creating uh, things as four round tournaments uh, possible and done in a realistic way. That's great. So I've looked at this course before, but it still stands out as one of the Nicer courses out there, well put together, well designed, uh, even in areas that the uh, normal player of this game, you know, won't even see, won't notice, and probably doesn't care about. But anyway, uh, that first screenshot you saw are my recent uh, game difficulty settings. Uh, I've eliminated the uh, club selection totally, so uh, tee to green, you're given a driver and... Uh, from there you must decide uh, what kind of club or what kind of shot with what club you're going to do so as the helicopter lands uh, we'll just move along I was playing against uh, one of the ghosts of one of my friends who uh, looks like he took a casual round out here but he was playing in the uh, modified aids off fashion like that we uh, champion Yards which is no grid uh, probably no wind here I'm, I'm I can't be certain what he did here but uh, I would think he's uh, you know conforming to the uh, general approach so just anyway these are the highlights and uh, more low lights than highlights, I guess. Uh, I eventually didn't do terribly well on this. Uh, it's not an easy course. Uh, it's a, you know very attractive and well put together. Uh, certainly not easy uh, for the most part. The uh, flag locations were uh, tucked in some hard spots uh, in small areas of the green or behind bunkers or both and. Uh, uh, putting was mid-range speed, but uh, you know the slope and brakes uh, were nowhere, nowhere near prom date easy. Uh, they needed some some extra consideration. I'm trying hard here to make that 90% uh, swing. Um, at no time during this video presentation will you see any use of the shot modifier whatsoever. Um, Lately, there's been some tournaments put up that, uh, while they conformed uh, to the uh, dark side settings, as we call them, uh, there was still no mention of the uh, use or application of the shot modifier uh, to make custom shots. Uh, uh, I've decided instead that, uh, you know, if we're, we're going to play it like you're a you know, a real guy, uh, you know, playing a Sunday round, uh, you know, you're a professional, but not a golfer, you're, you're a professional in some field, but uh, golf isn't the one, so nice, nice Fourth chip there, I think he made a really good shot there, anyway, you have to put yourself in the shoes of the Sunday golfer once a week, uh, you know, maybe you've been playing 10 years, you have some skill, you know, you're not shanking the ball into the woods or badly or anything. You do have a command of your game. Uh, you're making most of the shots. Uh, but still, it's up to you to uh, choose the right club. And, uh, you know, yes. hit, hit the ball in such a way that you'll get uh, the kind of distance okay, you, you wanted. You, down to even par, you know, you just can't dial it in. Here I left myself. I, well, I went in the water. I took the drop on the cart path for a clean line and took an easy swing yeah didn't totally work out but uh, at some point i was either going to be short in the bunker or over the green in the other bunker so uh, you know it was a narrow narrow chance of success there but you know i took my medicine and uh, played it without uh, 
without mucking around with the modifier at all. You know, you got a 66% there. I'm not totally sure how he, how he achieved that, but, uh, you know, it looks like he's playing square up like an amateur would and having to, you know, execute shots instead of dialing them in with the modifier. So, anyway, enough for that. Uh, really nice course. Uh, title of the video is Sometimes You're the Bug because this one, this one kind of ate me up, you know. I made some bad decisions here and there. Uh, you know, I made good shots uh, from bad bad decisions so it happens sometimes you know sometimes you're gonna you know you're gonna be on the losing end so anyway again here's some highlights and lowlights uh, did well on some of the holes you know did really well on some of the holes and you know a lot of them a lot of them were bogeys so that's the way it is sometimes with the game of golf so you have to accept that and put yourself in the shoes of an amateur Well, we're in the rough, but we're close to the green, so uh, we'll be putting pretty soon, I think. So you're in the rough here.
Nice. Okay, for the birdie.
Okay, let's see if you can save par here. Nice little two foot putt. All right, let's get out of here. Put this one in. Okay, let's see how these numbers add up now. And that'll keep you at seven over for the round. Four feet to the hole, you can do this. Nice, that'll work for par. Seven over par to uh, end things off here. All right, thanks for playing, and we'll see you next time.